They're going to come for you. I hope so. <laughs> Josh also really likes numbers. I do enjoy numbers. I'm a numbers guy. <laughs> I watch a lot of TikToks with math in it. Gross. Yeah. And uh, I haven't happened in a while, but there, there's a running joke where I would get in bed at night and she'd look over and I'd just be on my calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah. Yeah, Respect. Respect. I enjoy numbers. I had a bit for a while when we were drinking, when we were living together, when I would get drunk and I'd say, give me any th- two, three digit numbers and I'll multiply them right now. He's a nerd. He'd say I'm very confident. I, I don't know if they were ever right. I was going to say, I never questioned I could just you. say him confidently and he'd be like, that's insane, guy. <laughs> sure. As I was scampering away with my back turned towards him and one foot through the door to the bathroom, he said it. The phrase that is permanently burned into my memory. I don't know. You had a birthmark on your thigh, he said. Hmm. Everybody's got birthmarks. I do thighs. not have a birthmark on my thigh. You want to get a clean one? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have a birthmark on my thigh. Ever. I got to leave it in because it's silly goofy. We're a little drunk. We're just getting goofy with it. We already talked about Cheers it. <laughs> I'm out. So sad. Loser dweeb. Learn <laughs> to pace. Hear ye. I, th- th- this bottle literally Learn had to pace. this much wine in it. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. I have a decree ye. Welcome young lads, fair maidens, and non-binary jesters to ye old village of judge. I am Sir Josh the Unfunny. I... I'm Lady Rickard. Rick. <laughs> Rick. I. I am Lady Rick. And I'm Sir Pishjin. Lady of Lady of the Rick is kind of funny. Kind of lady like, of la- the Rick. Kind of like Lady of the Lake. Yeah. Sure. 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 You're Lady okay. of the. And we are Ye the judges. Judges. Back in medievaler than ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> It's right. That was I've been growing my beard out just for medieval times. <gasps> Me too. Me too. <laughs> nice. Very good joke. Um, cool. Josh, I don't want to derail us too early into the podcast. You forgot the light. They didn't have lights in medieval times. You're right. See, I didn't know I couldn't steal this from them. It's funny. I I wonder how much money that the Hobby Lobby has put like towards our senators and and stuff like that you know what i mean mm-hmm. like the hobby lobbyists really we don't need to do phys- i know that we're back cool. in the medieval <laughs> and what if he's an eagles fan though i don't yeah. give a shit what kind of fan you are you could be a ceiling fan you cannot treat people like that I got yelled at last week for using the soundboard too much, so sorry. I'm I'm doing a little bit of in person soundboarding. Uh, that was you <laughs> trying or not trying to say that nurses are gay or straight. I missed I missed the bit. We got another story, now, Christian. I'm, well, I just have a real quick question. Yeah, you guys are actually able to read ahead while you're reading out loud. Yeah, yeah. Your brain moves faster than your mouth. No. Not it's, mine. It's, like, <laughs> it's like the speed of light versus like the speed of sound type, yeah. type beat. All right. Josh is not in my brain. <laughs> I'm going to do the word nightmare. There's a lot. Hi, Whoa. Judgy. Expect there to be a little bit of diarrhea after this. Hi, judges. Hello. I d- Did you know that about me? What? That you won a hula hooping contest? Yeah. Oh, I know that about you. Good with my hips. <laughs> You can, hey, you can say that again. I'm good with my hips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can say, you can freaking you can say that one again. Um, <laughs> Laney says sorry that she's blasting TV. It's like oh, two and a half men reruns. Men, 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 manly men, 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 men. You don't know the theme song. I forgot it. (laughs) (laughs) All right. On this half of the podcast, we don't just podcast. We also podcast. And what What that entails is this. I didn't know we did that. What the frick? Doing silly little things. Some in the middle of the day. Uh, Probably last summer. 
When I met you in the summer. You gotta listen to submitted sound. Do you have a career in do you music? Have a career in music? I do. Holy fuck. What the fuck? What the fuck? fuck? <laughs> well, like sweet sweet Ricky sounds like a soul name, maybe. Okay. I can't fucking sing soul music. You can't sing. I can Shut sing. Shut the fuck up. You don't know how good my wife can sing. She sings as much as she wants. Yeah. And then I dome her, Josh. <laughs> Let's give it a rest. Of you boys. But and that's lady right also here. it for you boys, girls, and NBs. There it is. Listening at home or in church in or car. at work or in the car. <laughs> or, okay, if we're too. listening to this at work, <laughs> if we're listening to this at church, that rocks. <laughs> <laughs> the no. organist is listening to this in the background while they're playing a little. <laughs> Little ditty. Wings of the e e e e wings of an eagle. Editor, make an organ cover of our theme song for the <laughs> outro. <laughs> yeah, editor. And re and making all these little soundboard ditties. I've been anti soundboard the whole time. Oh bullshit! It just removes character. I think we this? should. I you think you should what? I think we should acapella every week. <laughs> You're you still the two and a half men song. No, I didn't. That's not the two and a half men song. Don't worry, be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy now. Christian, where can they find us on socials? You can find us on all platforms: Twitter, Twitch. Instagram, TikTok, my diary, my diary, my diarrhea, Patreon. If you don't want to get any ads, but yeah, if you don't want ads, go to Patreon. If you maybe want to join our Discord, Discord's cool. You can meet people like Vlad. You can do that all that at Judges at Judges Pod, J U D G I E S P O D. Also, all linked in the description. Xbox. Not Xbox. No. PlayStation. Console game or PC games, maybe. Every queer person I know plays uh, Switch or PlayStation. Not play Xbox. Xbox. Do you? Fuck. When's the last time you played Xbox? Um, like less than a week ago. And what game? Borderlands. Border. That's a queer coded game, though. It's cell shaded. That's a queer coded. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie, gay as shit. Is that their names? Banjo yeah. and Kazooie? Yeah, that's their name. Oh, I, I was thinking of Crash Bandicoot. I'm sorry. Because I know you guys like playing Crash Bandicoot. We do enjoy yeah. Crash. Yeah. You listener submitted sound submissions before our listener submitted story. So if you have one that you would like us to play, go ahead. Go to judgespot at gmail.com. Send a little sound submission. This one is from a little listener named Teddy. How about that? Teddy. Wow. Thank you. Hello. Teddy. This whole so episode has been planned. Hi, Teddy. I made a song and it's very good. It samples this lovely pod and stuff. Here you go. We'll be the judge of that. Yep. Literally. Here we go. How do I stop getting mad when people use they them pronouns? Die. Sorry. That rocks so fucking hard. I loved that. That was a banger. Teddy, that slap. One Absolute note, banger. One note, Teddy. Not enough Josh. Editor, uh, oh, put in Josh. Dancing Bug from Adventure Time. Just the amount, just the right amount of Josh. Interesting. Which was zero. Interesting. Was First time, live studio audience doesn't know what was played. I wish you guys could have heard. <laughs> they're not where you're hearing our headphones. Yeah, it was so good. It went very hard. <laughs> it was really good. Real hard. I bet they all have FOMO right now. I bet you guys have so, so much FOMO. How about you guys start a podcast about it? <laughs> <laughs> you are very political. Everything about you is political. <laughs> oh, that's the most right leaning link I've ever seen. Right leaning link I've ever seen. Well, it was Editor, my right eye. Hold please. on. Let me redo it. And you were leaning. Okay, that was a left leaning link. That was too hot. <laughs> what was up with that one? Oh, because it was my mouth was open a little bit. Oh, sorry. Now give us a centrist wink. Sensuous. Centrist. 
centrist. Yeah. Got it. Perfect, right? We we play both sides. That way, uh, mm. t- always sunny quote. That way, always come out on top. Monument. I told you guys this was juicy. <laughs> yeah, that was from DJ Boo Carrot. That, that was bad. juicy as fuck. Incredible. Wasn't that great? You guys, do I have a career in music? What? what? Huh? <laughs> how, does, how does that translate Do to I you? Need to keep saying words for someone to cut it up and make it onto a sick fucking beat? You do have a career in podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> music is a whole other avenue. <laughs> I'm just saying my voice sounded good behind music. It, <laughs> I'm saying somebody else put in a lot of work for that to sound fucking awesome. Are you doing <laughs> Such confidence going from Erica. Do I have a career in music? That was from uh, DJ DJ Boo Carrot was on the. I can't find the thing. I'll find it when you're reading the. Um, that was so update. fucking good. Wasn't that great? That was fabulous. I, I loved that. I was just sitting on that for four days waiting to play it, and now I'm gonna read this story. If you want to send your own listener submitted stories, please. I just drink a milkshake. I'm gonna drink something with milk in the name, and like 15 minutes later, I'm. About to shit myself. Christian, you cannot tell a dairy enjoyer that they might have a, a dairy intolerance. Because this happens to Aurora every time she eats a plate of cheese. And she Who's has a... just eating a plate of cheese? <laughs> have you met Aurora? <laughs> I mean, Aurora, I mean, she doesn't eat a plate of cheese. I'm just she, eating she... loose cheese over here. <laughs> loose cheese. But Aurora is a cheese enjoyer. She gets the baby bells. She always has Parmesan and baby stuff. Baby bell does fuck. And then slap. she shits her fucking brains out. Can I say that? And I always say, Aurora, <laughs> you really got to think it's maybe the dairy. But she's like, no. And, and also it is what is 1998. However, that was insanely close. That you. <laughs> Who the fuck is Leanne Rhymes? Did you not graduate middle school? What's that mean? And sing the Leanne Rhymes song. Have you heard me try to read? <laughs> Time. Is a constant wheel in motion, always moving us along. Are you sure that's Leanne Rhymes? Tell me who. Yeah, that's Leanne Rhymes. Do you know a single Leanne Rhymes song? Because I don't. What was the one that you said? How do I live? How do I live without you? Yep, that's the one. Huh. And guys, last one, miscellaneous for 69. We can't fuck this up. Otherwise, we're not going to get six out of nine. Pretty crazy that you guys have been batting zero, huh? No, you got the Takashi one, right? You guys are at six out of nine. You guys are at six out of eight. So if you really want to complete the meme, you would miss this one. For miscellaneous for 69, this sex position is very nice. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What is... I did a little research, uh, just so you guys know. uh, I bet he guesses missionary. What is... (laughs) What is he the, likes your teeth? What is the Council of Crows? This is a sex position. Yes. What is that? Look it up. You practice that I'm with right. Josh when I'm not in town, or what? Yeah, but I try to reach his butt. <laughs> you got a guess? Uh, I mean, is it is it sixty nine, Josh? Is that a question? Yes. Is it sixty nine, Josh? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. What is sixty nine? So, guys, there you go. There's our sex pretty. Uh, everybody listening, I need you to go Google Council of Crows. You did get seven out of nine, which, to be fair, that's rounded up. I gotta Google it. And Man. it's mail time. Mail time. Mail. This is from somebody, and it says the judges, or just Rick. You don't even know their name. We don't know if said, say coming to you all the way from Chapel Hill with love and light. Are we supposed to know where Chapel Hill's at? It's in North Carolina. That feels like a what Tennessee. What the fuck? Whoa. Is that handwritten oh or is that a card? Oh my God, they got you. Okay. Is that a founding father's that parchment? letter? Hold on. Did they steal the declaration? Things are happening or I'm not ready. Get Nicolas Cage on the line. Okay. Let's try. Give me a water bottle so I can read this or whatever he does in National Treasure. You remember Burn that? It? Heat it? Is it heat? This is a save the date for Amber and William. They're getting married on November 18th. Very cute save the date. On the back. That's very cool. Is like a handwritten They wrote thing. that? I don't know. Is that printed? I'm hoping that. Okay. It says, hey, ju- hey, judges. Hello. You can use our real names. Good, because I already did. 
My name is Amber, female 22, and I'm getting married to my hot, hot fiance, William, male 25. <laughs> Nobody's hot and named William. He gives Walmart Jon Snow. <laughs> Your family for members are going to be pissed. Walmart Jon Snow is very hot. I love listening to the pod and have been a listener for almost two years. I get anxious driving alone, so I crank y'all and giggle at your silly little stories on my way to work. Don't crank people when you're married. Or do. Depending Who are we on to judge? hey, depending on the dynamic in your relationship, <laughs> if you communicated it, maybe then you can. <laughs> Don't crank Christian, because Erica will Absolutely get Don't crank not. my yank because I'll get peed. And Erica doesn't even know what that means. When my fiance rides with me, I love his reactions to Josh's bits. He is a fan, to say the least. I will always be a Rick stan. She okay. can never get too hmm. political, ever. There's something That's about correct. it in here. You better have a kid or something so you can get an enjoyment on my potty the, humor. Uh, spoiler alert, there is something about Christian. Ah! <laughs> Anywho, thank y'all for the laughs. Makes my day to hear my fiance laugh, too. He sounds like Seth Rogen and Santa when he laughs. I thought that was about you. I just saw Seth Rogen, and I know we get comments that you look like Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can DM evidence, obviously. Yes, yeah, send that in as a listener submitted sound. Anyway, y'all. Oh, nerds. Y'all are nerds, so I hope you appreciate our wedding Say it theme. Again. Literary garden party. Oh, I will be walking down the nerds, aisle to. Nerds, nerds, loser, nerds, dweebs. I'll be walking down the aisle to Lord of the Rings, and our centerpieces will be books. I take it back. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Saving y'all a seat. Love your most Southern fan, Amber Felicity. Instagram, Felicity Amber. You're not wrong. Also, she I'm gets offended, sloppy but from you're not it. wrong. I'm the fucker who chews pudding. Ew. I swallow pudding. bread whole, but I chew pudding. Huh? I'm going to go. I'll choke on a rye. Oh. But I'll sort of, I'll sort of masticate a good old tapioca. Good one, Joshua. Thank you. I lied. A little monotone boy today. I'm a Mo little monocolor. Monotone. Little monocolor boy. Honestly, he's a little monotone. Monochrome. He's a little monochrome. monochrome. And also, he's Editor wearing gold. I'm pretty close to it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good gold. All you need to do is add some shimmer. Luster. Sheen. I cannot think of a sparkle. Me, I'm Josh. I'm going oh. to. There it is. Gesture away. Hey, judges love you. One, two, three, one, two, kiss. Huh? I thought we were doing it was a four count. <laughs> it's a four count. You said one, two, three, not four. It was implied. I think Christian is the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It took us 158 Hugs episodes and... to get to this point. <laughs> nice mechanical keyboard. Oh, oh fuck, I'm coming. <laughs> Ew. Get it on mic, get it on mic. Uh, somebody, however, left some review that was like, like, you're going in there to cheat. You can't yeah. take a shit. And all you, got, all you got left to do is shit on your classmates at that yeah. point. It really is a catch-22. Also, I'm sure we've talked about this on the podcast. Are the internal noises in your yeah. grumbling? Yes, Everybody can, hears it. Can, oh, my yeah. God. Everybody, Everybody can hear it, man. If, if high school Christian could hear this information, you wouldn't be here. He devastated. wouldn't be here right now. He would have been doing something dire. Absolutely devastated. R slash step parents. Maybe. Whoop. Yeah. We definitely not working on it. What are we pissed about? You, mostly. You're in the doghouse. Shut the fuck up, Josh. All right. We're going to read a vile one. <laughs> <sighs> Only because the other one is so long and it's really not that good of a story. <clears throat> I love the reasoning. Can I be honest? This is from Teddy. Whoop. Hello, judges. Hello, Teddy. Hi. What? Feel free no, to you use. Be... Why are you mad so at Teddy? Oh my God, hi, Teddy. Long time no see. Do not use my name on the podcast. <laughs> Fuck. Just kidding. Feel free to use my name in the podcast. The story is one that is currently popular on r slash off my chest. And for some extra comment, I have a comment that gives more info. Okay. I found nudes on my brother's PC. Gross. Erica, you're going to give so many people gender envy. Why? Because I have a drawn on mustache? Yeah. And you look good doing it. Yeah, you're pulling Honestly, it off. Honestly, the mustache looks better than yours. Whoa. I, listen. Oh, yikes. First off, 
Hello, boys. Hello, girls. Hello, NBs. And welcome back to the judgiest, the judgiest place, place on the internet. internet. My and name is Josh. Josh. My name is Josh. And my name is Josh. And we are the, the Joshies. Back in Josher than ever. Oh, you I just realized Josh and me. people who hate me. Oh, are gonna hate this episode. The worst episode yet. All the people who don't know which one of me or Christian is Josh. Oh, this is gonna really <laughs> fuck them up. Oh, this is really, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna fuck them up. Josh, let me hear that classic British accent of yours. Boy, <laughs> bro, <laughs> better than Josh could ever do. What? What do you? Three five zero. And we don't just any who whoop de woo tee hee on this podcast. We also. <clears throat> podcast. We also this, that, and third on this podcast. And what that entails is us going online and finding silly little stories. And we have a redemption arc. Oh, whoa! On this episode, that's right. Teddy. Okay. Teddy sent in another story. Okay. Roosevelt. Uh, Teddy says. Otherwise. Hello, judges. Hello. Feel free to use my name on the podcast. Sorry for traumatizing Christian and Erica on episode one hundred and sixty. Can you remind the listeners? The story that they sent in? Sister finding brother's uh, computer porn. Yeah. Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a much more tame one, but we'll still piss Ricky off. Uh, okay. Attached below is a story from r slash relationship advice. Sorry for not being a mobile screenshot and making you zoom in. You and when I first read this email, it was on my computer, shit. and I was like, it can't be that bad. And now I'm on my phone, and it kind of sucks, Teddy. It Teddy, is that bad. you piece of shit. It's bad. It's third really time, bad. Third time's a charm, Teddy. They give us another story. All <laughs> right. My boyfriend smashed my foundation to prove that I am beautiful without it. What should I do? Break up with him. So brave. 